Paul, <laughs> what? How? Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Oh, come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years, and I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> come on. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress, time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. All right, let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him.
Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. <laughs> you guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. Need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. <laughs> That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time? It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's, there's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's he's he's me, a future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Disasters before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul, what are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future.
are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? like you invented a clock. Yes, years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. HQ, securing the Will. server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. Warn Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out of you. Shh. you. Why old. are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even... No context for any of this, Jack. You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I... I'm sorry. Right. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken, fine. But now you're saying we could fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? 
What? Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Oh! Well? Oh, crap. Frozen again. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was what? still frozen. Stutter. She was right. About the fracture. About all of them. Stutter's collapsed. For now. Oh no, no. My car. They're patrolling the parking lot. Oh, God, that's... It's... Okay. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah, okay, I, I will. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well. Oh, you're Jack Joyce. Where is he? Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. But just shut the fuck up, all right? Boss said to take him to the library. Wants to deal with this with it first. Well. Gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. What? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Waiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine Corps in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! <laughs> We have to get to my briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It 
It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. Uh, I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. Trigger. I never wanted this. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's a priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area, and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a statement. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. 
Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. The current the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No. Wait. There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. What do you want? Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. See those two men on either side of me? I'm going to stand. I'm going to leave. And the one on your right is going to shoot you in the head. Fuck you. Hmm. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you.
course it is. Okay, now, City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of Group Report because they have all these government contractors who need two-way access. That means weaknesses. So, all Where? we have, huh? Where? Where what? Where, oh, weaknesses, you said. Shut the fuck up, Bernard. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple? Come on. Come on. And we're in. Yeah? Street cams, dash cams. Computers at headquarters, I mean, hell, I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? It's coffee? Yeah, I know, it's coffee. What the fuck is it doing on my desk, Brenner? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? Coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Now, can you tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's gonna take, because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take Riverport under Monarch control. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. I was just... Winka, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I, uh, I've got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? Um, <laughs> what? I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, you would. <laughs>
It's okay. Go. Yeah. Berg, we got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and headquarters demanding answers our thoughts are with the families of amy ferraro and all others who are missing at this time more on this story as it develops Hold. there's been a development jack you've already seen it tonight on the island he'll be there and he'll want revenge i need him stopped now i think our focus may be somewhat misguided here your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. Thank you for joining us. We're going to take you live to a press conference. Riverport's own Mayor Rackley is currently holding regarding last night's violence at Riverport University. The Riverport Police Department is currently investigating the premature demolition of the university library. Monarch Solutions is lending a hand in this investigation. I want to encourage the people of Riverport to offer them every assistance in finding those responsible. You bake his next sandwiches? Thanks. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on end numbers expected to law today. Animal rights activists. What's up, IT? You wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so... You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? The <laughs> 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. 
Hash knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Ah. We can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the pan. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Will? Uh. <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. No. No! Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is... What is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing, it's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. The end for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. 
I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. pin again? Yeah, I think so. How did you... You're the taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university. They grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks? Uh, yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. Come on, guys. It's 29 down. 40 more to go. Man. Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Holy shit. Lambert. Charlie, I need a favor. Yeah. Um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, you're really rather not. In your office, be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh, there's nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to... Secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shots. We are free of charge. Get them in HR. Damn, stop. 
superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. <laughs> south parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut, go. Are you some kind of goddamn X-Man? That was... Okay. Don't panic. It's, um... Friggin' sick, man! All right. Not the reaction I expected. I knew this kind of crap existed! Driving a cab, I've seen some stuff, man. Oh, I'm just glad you're on my side. So... So you're like a government experiment. Uh, did they tell you what's going on here? I only know what my brother told me. Time is breaking down and Monarch is involved somehow. Shit. It's like Watergate all over again. Hmm. Security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right. I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel 3. I'll open up the door for you. 
deal. He's safe. The will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. this what the hell hell what is what this is that already happened what the fuck There's no words to describe. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about. Everything he tried to protect me from. It surrounded me. A puzzle. Trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant. His career. Obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there... It never failed. Works. It works. Need my grant Need my extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. this. question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. 
You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Sir. Oh. Stop! Go back, goddammit! Don't. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. my music. Deal with it. I love this song. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall and the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. This note... It's directed... at me. July 4th, 2010. Will. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. But, <clears throat> but I'm 
I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> and I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You are not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that. But I didn't know why, exactly. Or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No, I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. They're increasing in frequency and duration. They'll dissipate. I've told you that. You need to consider that maybe what you have seen is wrong. It's not wrong. I need to prepare for my speech. Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much.
you haven't touched your drink. I am just not. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal mm -hmm. affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Trader. Was that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was the. Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> Yeah. What? Well, I guess I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one, for real, this time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hanging here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. And what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. I mean, if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? I look threatened to you. What's going on? It's nothing. We were just having a little chat. You should prepare for your speech. Enjoy your evening, Doctor.
Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker. Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Fuck, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Over there. Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Oh. Why am I losing you owe me so a bad? Sword. I don't think I can drink. Drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually ate all of this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for your it. encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 Cro Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little too much. Yes. But I... <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work, you know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, oh, do you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I guess, yeah, I love work. Oh, oh right shit. there! Oh, shit! Hey, you little fuck! Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? Which is the reason I'm here.
that gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it? What is that? Do you know who I am? Martin Hatch, Paul's um, other half. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I see the monarch's well-being. Oftentimes, the matters Paul may find them um, well, arbitrary. So you're his assistant? A little more complex than that. It doesn't sound like it. Now, I consider and offer you my condolences for your brother, and, uh, well, you can tell me to fuck off. I could tell you Paul doesn't want you to suffer the same fate, and you could tell me to fuck off. Or, I could point out that there's a difference between Paul and myself. You see, Paul, he... Well, he still has such hope for the world, whereas I lean towards a more realistic approach. Trouble is, I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come catastrophe. Paul's a very dangerous man, practically a zealot. And things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. Maybe you and I can find some common ground.
Who was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in the bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's from then a mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... They're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state. It stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. Let's go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. You'll end up like her. Fiona. The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. At the stutter? Where are you going? The recorder on the harness is up here. We need them. shooting at half a positive amusement park. Yeah, well, Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Get her moving before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's 
hit too hard. What? Oh no. I can't be good. It's really happening. You. You're Jack Joyce. You're here to kill me. No. But you're coming with us. We need your expertise. No. I'm not asking. Where's the damn boat? It's right there. Okay, go! Get her on the boat. I'm just... Come on, Tom! Hurry up! I'll never get away with this. Shit. Get in! It's Joyce. Somehow we got right past her. all along she's working with jack where is she now unknown but we've got a kill team tracking her no 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 she can't be killed not yet find her and whatever mr hatch does i want to know about it don't screw this up beth wilder it was the first time i'd heard her name but she had been there, in the past. When it all started. She'd been there the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people. Too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely, that kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. 
with access to the C4, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stars is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list, and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I can, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we going to do that, Charlie? But there's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. Get off! Tired as shit. 
I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. been here before that woman in the picture is you isn't it so Jack there's something you should know 1999 I was eight years old playing in my backyard and a woman approached me told me she was from the future she gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass she gave me this filled with Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. How far along is your wife? 
three months. Congratulations. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey. understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott. Yeah. Who's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson, I got Burr. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him! What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me! It isn't about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Huh? I'll see you there. Burke, you fuck. You know, I'm really going to enjoy killing your wife.
Commander Davis. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul, what about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! You let this happen! Jack, he wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them into Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing, minutes before the explosion. Paul. Paul, will you... Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. This was a party gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you, She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus, but... Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Paul, what are you planning on? Sophia's loyal. She's gotten inside your head. She's always been loyal. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. I need to wake my family. I'm afraid we have no time. Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush?
Emily, give me the keys. <laughs> give me the keys, Emily. Wait for me, get Emily, away. listen. No, no, listen, no. please, please, please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights that the bartender, she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. Emily, if Monarch, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. And I'm waiting you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you on my side. It's Beers. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. July 4th. 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No. This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry.
it's me. Hey, 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 hey. What happened to you? This is it. There's no turning back. Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. Set Williams' machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, hey, don't hey, shoot! Don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but... I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over. And over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. One of my treatments. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? Sir? Thank you. I'll be right down. Dismissed. Yes, sir.
I feel more clear headed, calmer, but it won't last. I need to work fast while I still can. Bradbury swimming pool. Where's Paul? I need to speak with Paul. Right this way. Paul. Sophia. You initiated it. You were right, it was time. Paul, have you taken your treatments? You can't go on without them. We need to get to the life bro. No, you need to come with me. You need to get things started. We need you. Just go. Okay? You just go, I'll be there. Commander Pierce, prep the chopper. I need to get to the swimming hall. Right away, sir. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul, followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth, she had doubts. You okay? Yeah. But the countermeasure, the one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to... Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan 1, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. You owe me one. 
Fiona. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the device. Come with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Serene had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? No. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's Fiona. I need your help. Do you copy? Beth? It's Fiona. Do you copy?
you and Miller. Yes, you're speaking. This is Jack Joyce. Beth told me you were working together. You might be the only ally I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I could do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. I need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. It's 12 sided, small, metallic, like a soccer ball. The CFR. The what? The chronon field regulator. That is the countermeasure. And it can fix the fracture.
Jack Joyce. We... He can use the CFR to fix the fracture. We need to get it to him. CFR is what's powering this place right now, be honest. It, but I spoke to him. I spoke to Jack Joyce, and he needs it. Just... If you... If you let Joyce use the CFR, then that means the lifeboat's gone. No, 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 that's not, no. That's these not people the... down here, they can figure it out. They can fix the fracture. That's what you wanted these in the people, first place. These people, this is Monarch, okay? They're the ones that got us into this. Do you think they give a shit about any of us? I mean, you realize what you're asking. So, what's the plan once we get to Monarch? We need to find a way onto the lifeboat. Sir, Liam Burke, he's trying to break into Monarch. We know where the CFR is, but... Jack, it's Charlie, listen. It's at the top of the Monarch Tower. So you gotta follow my instructions exactly. Jack. Jack? Jack. Jack. Fiona, stop. Jack! No, no, no. Look. That area up there is insanely secure. He's not gonna be able to get in. Hey, 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 wait! Wait. I need to finish this. I know, but I'm the one that should go. The CFR defenses. There's no way he's gonna be able to get past them along. I'm the only one. I mean, you belong down here. You actually would be useful. I'm dead weight. Just, I'm a glorified locksmith. Why don't you let somebody else be the hero? Okay, tough chick? Everyone needs IT, Charlie. Fuck you. Hey, Charlie. You're an okay date. I know. They tell me he's a traitor. I'm not a traitor. I know what you want. You're protecting what's yours. I want to protect what's mine. We're the same now. And I need your help. And you need mine. You're looking for the lifeboat. Isn't that right? And you know what we're facing. I have a team down there. They will fix the fracture. Time will go on. 
But not if the CFR goes unprotected. CFR? It's our key. It's what makes the lifeboat possible. Powers it. But my enemies want it destroyed. You could keep it safe. And when this is over, your wife, she'll be waiting for you. So I could take her with me. She'll survive. Liam, what is he talking about? I just... I think of what happens if we're down there unprotected. None of us are saved. I need you to go with him. He's gonna take you to the lifeboat. I'll find you when it's over. Top of Monarch Tower. You'll find the CFR in a striker suit. That's all you'll need. What your husband's doing for you. Change things. The world. The universe. For the first beings powerful enough to undo the very fabric that we're part of. And now we must believe that we are powerful enough to set things straight again. We've all made sacrifices. We have all made sacrifices. But we're not just here to work for ourselves. We're here for our families, for mankind, to change history, to make history, right here, right now. I have some other matters to attend to, so I will not be with you. But I know that you will succeed.
Joyce, see if our defenses are down. It's all you. You're good to go. Step the fuck away from there! I can't! I can't, Liam! Get the fuck I away can't. from Mark! Get away! Joyce needs it. Joyce? Joyce can fix the fracture, Liam. You need to get the fuck out of here, Charlie. I'm not moving. Get out of here! I'm not moving, so you're gonna have to kill me. Once and for all, you're gonna have to fucking kill me. Because right now, Liam, I'm thinking about more than myself. You don't know what Joyce is gonna do. No, I don't. But I have faith in Fiona. And she believes in Joyce. So I gotta believe, too. Think about it. Fix a lifeboat, you save your wife. We fix the fracture, it saves us all. Okay? So go ahead. Go ahead and kill me. It's not gonna make a fucking difference. But if you kill Joyce, then we have. Perceptions, Liam, they're off. This world you know, this world is ending. But one world's end is merely another's beginning. My world will be renewed. My world will see better. It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it, and I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. We've got the core here. Here, hurry! Target's 
have escaped the lab. Done, fellas. Oh, shit! This is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine Corps in transit. Get us back to the time where you came from. No, 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 no. The only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't want And if it people. could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. It's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set, but the future is. Just the way I left it. Hope it still works. All right, Will. <laughs> that works. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but it's okay. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So, I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that.
countermeasure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lives we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come ah. on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. He's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you.
You've been very patient with us and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well, that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious. And we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. 